Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our football jersey Faber box. I've got all my pieces cut out here in front of me and this one's going to be pretty quick and kind of designed it that way intentionally because chances are you're going to be mass producing these uh, maybe for the big game or maybe you have a, a, a child that you know could be a grandchild, your child, niece, nephew, whoever it may be that you want to support in their football endeavors. Um, and if you are maybe the team mom and you want to make a bunch of these, uh, we made them pretty easy to mass produce. So here is the main structure. We're just going to get this glued together. It's one piece. We'll go ahead and start off by applying glue to the one tab that's on there on the side. Obviously, we need to close up the bottom. We'll do that in a moment. Okay, I'm going to close this up and press that down. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to the other side and press it down. Okay, so that's what the box is going to look like. Let's move the bottom out of the way for a second, get the three tabs pushed in a little bit and apply your glue. And I did do a little bit of inking on the jersey. Uh, there's really no sense in inking the main structure because most of it's going to be hidden away anyway. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this up now. Focus on getting this lined up with the side opposite of where it's already hinged. Get it out all the way to the edge, nice and centered. Press that down and then make sure that the two sides line up nicely. You can put that down on your surface. Grab yourself a dowel or something and push down on the rest of the surface of that tab. Make sure it's making good contact. There we go. Check your sides there. Make sure everything is sitting nice. Okay, then you can take a little bit of glue and just apply it right in the middle there on the bottom and then take this piece. This is your little liner. Just drop it right in there and then press that down. I'm using a little tab or a little dowel, I should say. Okay, so there it is. You can see that's the front, that's the back. Now let's put the jersey together. Okay, so here's the front. You can tell by how the neck looks and that's the back. So what we're gonna do here for our back, we have this piece. So it's going to go on right here and we did that to um, kind of give it a little bit of dimension and then you can also put the name here now we didn't include any uh, we didn't include any letters that would be a little bit too much but you're welcome to um, use your cutting machine to cut out letters if you want to customize it even further we're not going to take it to that level we're just going to do the numbers Okay, so just line that up like that. I did ink this with a little bit of a darker blue. Tried to find the closest resemblance of what the Chicago Bears colors would be. Okay, and this is what I came up with. Of course, they have different variations of their jersey as well. So, and then of course we have this little piece. Now we're gonna talk about the striping in just a moment. Uh, I tried to give you guys as much creative freedom as possible when it comes to the stripes because I know that every jersey and every, every jersey variation has all sorts of different striping on it. Let's just do the front real quick. Okay, This is going to go on first right here for the neck. So let's go ahead and get our glue on here. Okay, and I'm going to thin that out because I went a little heavy in some spots and I don't want that leaking onto my dark, my dark, dark blue here. Okay, so line that up, kind of using the, the neck as my initial guide here, using my fingers to feel and make sure that it is lined up correctly. There we go, press that down. Okay, and then we have a, another overlay that's going to go over the center. So this white up here, uh, typically on a jersey, you would 
possibly see some numbers up on top, uh, but I thought that was a nice little touch. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing all the different variations from your favorite teams. I'm sure come the big game, you guys will want to make some of these for your, your Super Bowl party. And I guess you could, if you could find a logo or whatever, um, I, I wouldn't sell these, you know, personal use only. I would maybe get a logo and, um, and cut it out or do a print to cut. But of course, uh, that would infringe on copyrights, which is why, you know, we can't include anything like that. We don't own the license or we don't have a license for it. Um, so anyway, I'm just getting the numbers uh, in place here. You'll notice in your extras folder that you have numbers zero through nine. Okay, and you can cut out just one number or you can do two. And a little tidbit here. Number 34 is the late great Walter Payton of the Chicago Bears, the running back. And if you hadn't guessed by now, my little buddy Payton is actually named after him. He was one of the hardest working guys in football and, well, Everybody knows him because of his work ethic, and I'm hoping that I can instill that in my, my little baby. Okay, so let's talk about the stripes real quick here. Okay, so in your when you, when you cut this out, you'll notice that you have four of these, and we didn't really give you an option. You're going to get both sizes. We figured it's just this much extra paper, so it's not a big deal. You're going to cut it anyway. Okay, and you'll notice that these are a little bit thicker than these. This is if you want to go three stripes. This is if you want to go two stripes. Okay, so I'm doing three stripes in, in my case, but I'll show you how this all works. Now, if you take a look here, you'll notice that one side kind of has a point and one side is smooth. Okay, so the point is going to go, it's going to point in and the smooth side is going to go on the outside of the arm. Okay, so it's going to go like that. And the same is true with the thinner one with the two for the two stripes. Okay, that's going to go right here, except that's going to go all the way at the bottom. Okay, and then if you're doing one stripe, this little guy, let me make sure I get the right one here. Uh, keep grabbing the wrong one. The stripe is going to go on top. So you've got white and then your color if you're doing two stripes. But I'm doing three, so I'm going to get rid of this. And mine's going to go like this. And then the stripe is going to go in the center. Okay, and of course, again, the point, there's a point on the stripe and that's going to go right in the center like that. Okay, so we're doing three stripes on this one. So let me get these in place here. So again, one side is going to be rounded. The other side is going to have a little stripe. I'm sorry, a, a point. It's going to be pointed. Okay, so that's kind of what you want it to look like. So there's my point. That one's going to go on that side. Let me grab another one with a point. Uh, yeah, no, there we go, and there we go, and we just need to make sure we match these up correctly. There we go, okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this one is actually, I think, even easier to put together than the basketball jersey, and this is fun. Um, you know, I... I thought for a long time, I was like, I don't want to make football stuff because my, my audience is mostly women, but you know what? There's so many, I mean, in the U.S. especially, football is such a big thing. The Super Bowl is such a big thing, and wouldn't that be cool to make hubby a cool little, especially if your team's in the Super Bowl, or even the playoffs. The playoffs are coming up pretty soon, just to make him something, give him a little gift, be like, whoa, that's cool. They'll like that. And I'm even thinking about doing some promotions here uh, with these. Okay, so 
Moving on here, again, the pointy part is gonna go to the right. Uh, it's pointing this way on that side, and then it's pointing this way on this side. And you can put the numbers on the front and back if you want. I'm demonstrating it here with just the numbers on the front. Okay, and that's gonna go there. So it's very, very simple. Okay, so let's put some glue on these pieces now. And we'll get these all in place before we put them on the main structure. Just make sure you get that lined up as accurately as you can. Whoop, I dropped one. Probably the manliest project we've ever made. <laughs> and I hope that, I hope that people love these. It is America's sport. I think baseball maybe used to be, but I'm not so sure anymore. My White Sox are horrible. I'm actually a big fan. Uh, <clears throat> you know, in the Midwest here in Chicago, it's a huge Bears-Packers rivalry. And, uh, you know, Wisconsin's like my second home, and I've grown, grown very fond of Aaron Rodgers. I just, I, I, like, I like who he is um, as a person and an athlete. Uh, I am glad that he left Green Bay, I'll tell you that, because he's been, he's been a pain in our rear ends for such a long time. But then again, we haven't, I, mean, I guess we went to a Super Bowl not that long ago, but it seems like ages. We haven't won anything major since 85. And I was born in 82 and came to this country uh, a little late. So anyway, front and back are done. <clears throat> These are, again, the thinner strips for the, um, for the two stripes. Okay, so all that's left to do now is we're actually just gonna apply glue to this entire surface because part of this jersey is actually gonna be sticking off, okay? Rather than trying to make it all like, you know, um, curved or whatnot, we just went with a straight design. Just match it up at the collar, make sure it's flush on the bottom here and on the sides towards the bottom and pop that down on your surface and grab yourself a dowel and press down. Okay, there's your back. Again, you can put your number on there. And then let's put the front on. Same thing, just apply glue to the entire surface. Just like that. Match up the collar. Get that matched up first. And then kind of work your way to the bottom. Get that adjusted. And then pop that down on your surface, grab your dowel, push down, and there you go. Okay, front and back. And then I am going to actually add a little dimension to this by way of foam square for the numbers. I think that's a nice little touch. And then also, again, we have little markers here to help you with the centering or positioning of your numbers so that they're all on the same plane. And we kind of kind of use that as the center guy, uh, center marker as well. That's going to do it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment, visit us on our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button while you're there, hit the little bell. So you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I'd love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 45,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So hope you had a blast. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.